Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and one question I get asked quite a lot is what is the difference between Unity 2017, Unity 2018, Unity 5? And I'm going to answer this as best I can. There is very little difference from some perspectives. Now, it's worth noting that yes, there are features added in to later versions of Unity. Uh, for example, we have the job system, which is you know comes with Unity 2018, but that's not really something I'll explain here. The difference that we have most of all is just a naming convention. The engine itself is basically the same. The layout is basically the same. You can do the things in Unity 5 that you can do in 17 and 18, and you can do the things in 18 that you can do in 5 and 17. And as you can see here, I have three different versions of Unity open. So here we have 2018.1, here we have 2017.3, and here we have 5.5.2. And we can see that it's generally the same sort of thing. People often get confused and mixed up about versions of Unity and think that they can't actually do something from Unity 5 in Unity 2018. You can. You quite easily can. Sometimes you may need to change a couple of things. Things are in slightly different places. A good example of that is if we go in Unity 5.5 and go to Window, we can see lighting is here. So if we go to Unity 2018, if we go to Window, Lighting is here, but we also have to go to either Settings or Light Explorer. Now Settings here, that's basically the equivalent of just clicking Lighting here. It takes you to the exact same place. So as I say, the main difference is, at least for beginners, certainly people who have just picked up Unity for the first time, there is no difference. Obviously, there is a lot of differences, but they're only for when you get really deep into development and really understand the mechanics and the methodical thinking behind the engine itself. But as I deal mostly with beginners when it comes to Unity, for you guys, there's very little difference. You won't even notice some differences. Another good example would be in animation. When you create animations in Unity 5, I think before 5.3, you didn't have to press the record button to actually start your animation. In later versions, in 2017, 2018, you do have to press that record button. So it's just subtle differences like that. But I'll just reiterate, from an absolute beginner standpoint, there is virtually no difference whatsoever in any version of Unity after Unity 5. If we go before Unity 5, for example, 4, uh, 3, there are differences there. But we, you know, they're long in the past now. So essentially, the entire engine that we use on pretty much all of these tutorials is the same engine, guys. So you can follow along in any version of Unity, as long as you just are aware of the subtle little differences, like I say, the menus. So guys, I hope that answers a little bit of a burning question you've had there. And if you've got any more, please, please, please leave them in the comments below. If you've got anything to add that you think I've missed from this little tutorial, please add them below because the more information out there, the better for all developers. So guys, hope you learned something and thank you very much for watching.